Hi, have you ever wondered what vitamins actually are or what they can do for you or what maybe they aren't? Stay tuned and I'm going to tell you all about vitamins. Hi and welcome to Nature's Path to Wellness. I'm Wendy and today we're going to be talking about vitamins and what vitamins can do for you, what vitamins are, where they come from, and all that kind of good stuff. So let's talk about vitamins. Where do they come from? What can they do for you and what they are not? Vitamins are organic substances that are necessary for the effective, healthful functioning of our bodies. What people think vitamins are versus what they actually are. Many people think that vitamins are just a pill that they take. But vitamins are actually nutrients. They are just like other nutrients that you are aware of. Water, proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and minerals. Vitamins are organic. Now, does this mean that there are organic vitamins versus non-organic vitamins? like you have organic fruits and vegetables and that type of thing? No, it simply means that they contain carbon. Vitamins are required by the body for normal function and life cannot be sustained without all of the essential vitamins. In most cases, vitamins are not formed, synthesized, formed or created within the body. So where are vitamins found? Vitamins can be found in various quantities in all natural foods. Vitamins can also be taken as a supplement when one is lacking a particular vitamin in their diet. Forms such as a pill, liquid, capsule, powder, or injection can be taken. Vitamins are sometimes added to foods. So you may be familiar with foods that have been enriched, like enriched flours, breads, juice, milk, that type of thing. It is always best to attain your body's required vitamins though from your diet. What about omnivore diets versus vegetarian or vegan diets? Most vitamins, in fact, all but one can be attained through these various diets. The only vitamin in question would be vitamin B12, which is more difficult but not impossible to attain from a vegetarian diet. Vegan diets though, however, will probably have to be supplemented um, with B12, so uh, a supplement, um, as you, you don't get any B12 in a vegan diet. B12 can be found in milk, eggs, and cheese. And for vegans, again, it's likely to supplement this very important nutrient. Can vitamins give me energy? You'll sometimes hear people say, oh, you know, I'm going to take some more vitamins so that I have lots of energy, but vitamins themselves actually have no caloric value and they don't produce any energy. They are necessary for you to be healthy, however, and without them, you may feel a lack of energy based on the particular vitamin that you may be missing. So if you were to um, be low in some of the B vitamins and you were to take a B vitamin complex, um, once a day, you may feel that your energy level would go up and that makes sense, of course. Can vitamins replace food? Definitely not. Vitamins, again, are not an energy source and they cannot replace foods. Food and liquids are actually required in order to help your body assimilate the vitamins that you are having. So vitamins are water soluble or fat soluble and those um, things in your, in your diet are required in order for your body to properly absorb vitamins. What does fat soluble mean? There are four fat soluble vitamins and to keep it simple, fat soluble means that these vitamins require fats in your diet for the body to properly absorb them. The four fat soluble vitamins are D, A, K, and E. These vitamins can also be purchased in a supplemental form as a water soluble or dry form for those that are sensitive to fats and oils in their diets. What does water soluble mean? There are 16 water soluble vitamins and to keep it simple, water soluble means that these vitamins are easily digested in your food, absorbed into the blood and any excess is excreted via your urine. 
These vitamins are not typically stored in our body well, and they do need to be replaced through your diet, um, and of course, secondly, as a supplement in order for your body to function at its best. The water-soluble vitamins include the B-complex vitamins, B1 thiamine, B2 riboflavin, B3 niacin, B5 panathenic acid, B6 pyridoxine, B12 cobalamin, B7 biotin, choline, B9 folic acid, inositol, PABA or para-aminobenzoic acid, B13 erotic acid, B15 pangamic acid, B17 latrile, C ascorbic acid, and P the bioflavonoids. Where can I find these vitamins and how much do I need in my diet? This video is really just an overview of vitamins and I'm not going to be going deep into each vitamin here but do look for my other videos where I will go deeper into each vitamin and we'll talk about where you can find um, the various vitamins that I'll be speaking about and you know how much is recommended for you to have daily. What forms do vitamins come in? I mentioned some earlier, but let's talk about that a little bit more here. Vitamins come in a huge array of form formats as supplements. These are the most common forms. Caplets, which are capsule-shaped tablets. Capsules, which are fat-soluble, which are fat-soluble vitamins often come in. And these forms contain a little oil in them, which again helps to absorb the fat-soluble vitamins. Gelatin and vegetable capsules. The gelatin capsules are made from the animal byproduct gelatin, and the veggie caps are free from any animal products and safe for vegans. Powders. These are a great alternative, which is usually free from any sort of filler, additives, or binders. Liquids are a great alternative that can be mixed with juice. Think of the elderly or small children for those types of uh, supplements. Gummies. Again, a great alternative for young children who have a difficult time swallowing the pill forms. What are time-release vitamins? These are a great option when using a higher dose vitamin, such as vitamin C, for example. These are micro pellets, usually inside of a capsule. And if you're taking a high dose of a water-soluble vitamin, they don't store in your body very well. So the time release allows for a continual amount to be released into the body. Check for a longer time period on the container, as some are just a two hour release, which is just basically the same as taking um, a whole daily dose at a time. But many do come in the 12 hour release formulas, which is what you'll be looking for. When should I take a supplement? Since vitamins are organic substances and therefore should be taken with other foods and sometimes minerals, to assist in their best absorption. There are also other key points to remember when taking some specific vitamins with certain foods. And again, that's something that I will cover more deeply and I will talk about each vitamin specifically um, and what types of foods would be good to take with those vitamins and what helps your body to absorb them. Um, that's not something I'm gonna be covering in detail in this video. So what should I watch for when choosing a supplement? When you think about buying a supplement, you may think all the ingredients are safe and healthy for you. However, there are some things to watch out for. Colors. Yes, they do add coloring to some vitamins to make them more appealing. So you might want to think of a popular children's vitamin. Some use natural coloring sources though. Fillers are sometimes added and binders which are used to hold the ingredients together. Sweeteners are used in chewable vitamins so that they don't taste terrible. And coatings can be used to make the vitamin go down easier or to cover the unpleasant flavors. So let's recap. Vitamins are found naturally in foods. There are water soluble, soluble supplements and fat soluble supplements. And of course, one of the most important ones to remember is vitamin D, which we can get from the uh, sunshine. 
So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you were able to uh, learn some about some stuff about vitamins and that you'll watch for further videos where I talk about all kinds of different vitamins and how they can help you um, on your path to wellness. Thank you for watching and if you'd like to subscribe and give us a thumbs up, that would be great. Have a great day.